Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Aros Fugad and wish you all a very happy Republic Day. Today we're going to be making one of India's most loved snacks and street food, bread pakoda. It's almost like a potato sandwich tempura, but we're going to add some patriotic flair to it since it's Republic Day. And it's the only time we're going to feel patriotic other than on Independence Day or when we watch the large monumental Indian flag flutter over at Connaught Place in New Delhi. So let's get that apron on and let's cook. First, we're gonna get our chutneys ready, starting with the green chutney, for which we're going to cut the roots off and roughly chop two cups of fresh coriander or cilantro, stems and all. Pick about a cup of mint leaves of their stems, peel and chop up three fourths of an inch of ginger, followed by peeling and chopping three fourths of an inch of raw turmeric, after which we're going to peel four cloves of garlic and roughly chop three green chilies. Then we're going to go ahead and set up our grinder and add all of the green stuff starting with the two cups of coriander and the mint leaves along with the ginger, turmeric, garlic and chilies. Then we're going to add half a teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of salt, the juice of half a lime or lemon, add a splash of water and grind everything together into a smooth paste. And boom, there you have it, green chutney. Next, we're going to make our red chutney or the chili garlic chutney, for which we're gonna need, that's right, chilies. More specifically, dried red Kashmiri chilies, which we're gonna cut up into smaller pieces. Again, you can deseed the chilies if you don't want it too spicy, but you know I like it hot, so I'm gonna leave them in and then soak them in hot water for about 15 to 20 minutes. After which we're going to peel eight cloves of garlic, which of course is always fun, right? Then we're gonna add them both to the grinder, starting with the drained red chilies, the garlic, and then we're gonna add a teaspoon of amchur or dry mango powder, a teaspoon of chaat masala, a pinch of salt, a splash of water, and then we're gonna grind them all together to form a smooth paste. Next, we're gonna make the potato bhaji that we're going to stuff our batter fried sandwiches with. We're going to start by boiling seven large or eight medium sized potatoes and cook them until a knife or a fork inserted into them meets with no resistance. Then we're gonna drain and peel them and cut them lengthwise into fours and then into cubes. Then using a potato masher, we're going to mash them up and set them aside while we prep for the green masala bhaji. For which we're first gonna cut the top and bottom off a medium sized red onion, peel and then slice lengthwise. And then we're gonna peel about half an inch of ginger and four pods of garlic. After which we're going to heat about two teaspoons of vegetable oil in a pan and add about half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and pop the lid on because this thing's gonna splutter and get everywhere. Then we're gonna add about a quarter of a teaspoon of hing or asafoetida, roughly chopped and add a handful of curry leaves, followed by the sliced onions and saute everything for about 30 to 40 seconds. Then pop the lid on and cook for five minutes or until the onions are soft and translucent. Then finally chop and add one green chili, grate in the half inch of ginger and four cloves of garlic. Then we're gonna give everything a stir and saute for a few seconds, lid on and cook for five minutes until all the raw smell and flavor have gone. After which we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of roughly chopped coriander stems, but I forgot to hit record. Then we're gonna add about a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder give everything a stir and then add half of the mashed potatoes mix everything together and make sure everything is thoroughly combined taste for seasoning add a couple of pinches of salt and stir it all together then turn off the heat finally chop a bunch of coriander leaves and add it to the potatoes and mix it all again and now let's get down to the red masala bhaji for which we're gonna slice one medium red onion Peel about half an inch of ginger and four pods of garlic. Then we're gonna heat about two teaspoons of vegetable oil 
Add our onions and saute for a few seconds. Pop the lid on and cook for 5 minutes until the onions are soft and translucent. Then grate in the ginger and then the garlic. Give it a stir and let it cook for another 5 minutes. After which we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder and one whole teaspoon of red chili powder and saute for a few seconds before adding the rest of the mashed potatoes and stir everything together to combine then we're going to add half a teaspoon of amchur or dry mango powder followed by one whole teaspoon of chaat masala give everything a good stir taste for seasoning add a couple of pinches of salt and stir again and now it's time to assemble our sandwiches. I'm using regular white sandwich bread. And we're going to start by generously spreading some green chutney onto a slice of bread. Followed by a layer of the green masala bhaji. Followed by a sprinkle of pre-diced mozzarella cheese. Over which we're going to place a slice of cheddar cheese. And then on another slice of bread, we're going to generously spread some of the red chutney followed by a layer of the red masala bhaji and then we're going to spoon some more mozzarella over the cheddar and cover it with the red masala slice masala side down gently press down on the sandwich to make sure everything is secure then you can optionally either cut off the edges or leave them on it's a personal choice really then cut the sandwich diagonally into half or if you're making this as an appetizer for a party Go ahead and cut it again diagonally into four and then repeat the same for the rest of the sandwiches. A layer of green chutney followed by a layer of green masala bhaji followed by a sprinkle of mozzarella then a slice of cheddar, more mozzarella, red chutney and red masala bhaji on the top slice, cover, trim the sides and cut diagonally into halves or quarters. Now let's do a quick pre-fry cross-section. And yeah, that looks pretty nice. Saffron white and green, just like the flag. Okay then, let's get back into it. And let's move on to the batter. We're gonna add one and a half cups of besan or gram flour. And a cup of rice flour, which is gonna add a nice crunch. Followed by a quarter teaspoon of hing or asafoetida, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, and a pinch of salt. We're gonna whisk it all together and then add about 400 ml of water, a little at a time, and whisk until no lumps remain. You want the batter to be nice and thick but slightly runny. Add more water if it's too thick or more gram flour if it's too thin. And then it's time to get dunking. We're gonna heat a buttload of oil in a pot or deep kadai. Make sure you only fill a third of the pot with oil to prevent the hot oil from splattering and yourself from burning. Then once the oil is hot enough, we're going to start by first dunking the sandwich quarters into the batter. Make sure they're coated on all sides and then carefully drop them into the hot oil making sure not to overcrowd or they're going to stick together and get really messy and fry them for four to five minutes or until they're golden brown and then using a mesh spoon we're going to take them out and place them on a tray lined with paper towels then repeat the same for the remaining sandwiches dunk them in the batter Coat on all sides, drop into hot oil, fry until golden brown. If these aren't going to be consumed immediately, you can keep them in an oven with the temperature on its lowest setting. Or alternatively, you can warm them up in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes before serving. And then it's time to take a peek inside these bad boys with the final cross section. And wow, that crust is really crispy. I'm going to try to cut into it very carefully. And damn, look at that cheese. It's almost taken over the sandwich. And the layers have gotten a bit melded. But the colors are still there. 
well, sort of. But who cares, I can't wait to taste this. And oh yeah, the crust is super crunchy and the cheese is so melty. But most importantly, the flavors. The flavors are so amazing. I totally get why this is one of the most loved snacks in India. Happy Republic Day, guys. <laughs>